Hey everybody, what's going on? This is me, Alex, and in today's video, we're going to be unboxing the Nexus 5 uh, 16 gigabyte version from T-Mobile. So let's go right ahead and get started. So the first thing uh, you're going to notice on the packaging, that's very Google-ish, and you realize that here it says Nexus 5 with a few different details on each side of the package, on the back and on the side, along on the bottom and on the top. I will show you guys in-depth details of this phone later in a specific video uh, called the Nexus 5 review. But in today's video, we're going to be talking about the Nexus 5 and how it looks like on the unboxing. So on the front, you're going to realize that there are some stuff such as Google and in T-Mobile's version is going to tell us that there is a $50 restocking fee applies when running, returning this device. And as you see, it says Google on the bottom with a few Nexus 5 wallpaper here. In this case, I got the black 16 gigabyte model. On the side, we get some information about our phone along with LG branding on the bottom since this phone is made by LG along with a T-Mobile carrier on the bottom we didn't get that in that corner Nexus 5 it just tells us that and then on the back we get some information such as Nexus 5 it is compatible with BC and Bluetooth along with some more little coding and the Nexus 5 side panel view uh, on the other side we just get some LG branding and T-Mobile nothing else too interesting and on the top of the phone it's blank this comes in a nice pretty neat sleeve I guess you can call that so all you do is just slide the packaging out and you can get the empty sleeve there it goes you can just go ahead and toss that to the side for now Moving on to the packaging, you get a little bit of Google stuff, uh, branding, nothing too important, just about some two tabs we got to cut, and that's about it. So let's go right ahead and get our knife, so we can go ahead and cut this open. So we've got our unboxing knife here, we're just going to go ahead and flip the phone over, and cut the two tabs on the side of the phone. We're just going to go ahead and slice those open. And then once we got that open, we're just going to go ahead and lift the phone up. And in its glory, there is the Nexus 5 with a bit of dust there. Just to quickly show you guys the phone itself, if I can go ahead and zoom in on that a bit. We're going to go ahead and remove the phone and show you guys some of its contents here. So if we can go ahead and sort of take it out of its packaging, there it is in all its glory. It just says Nexus 5 on the wallpaper. On the back, we get that beautiful Nexus branding, so clean. We're gonna go ahead and set that to the side. And here we get some tab and some more paperwork here. We get a little bit of empty shelling, like a shelf for your phone like we do in the iPhone. We get a little envelope here with some more literature such as the information as well as a sim ejection tool to go ahead and eject our sim card shows us how and so a little a packet of orientation on how to use our device along with our label about our carrier and our T-Mobile micro sim card that we use to insert into in our phone in here we get our uh, charging brick with one USB here it is Nexus branded along with our USB uh, cable that is LG branded. We're gonna go ahead and toss this to the side for now. Now I'm gonna show you guys how to insert your SIM into the Nexus 5. So we have that all set up. We're just gonna need the SIM ejection tool along with the label that is included in this packaging. We're just gonna go and put that in there. We're just gonna need the SIM card, the SIM ejection tool, and of course the beautiful Nexus 5. We're going to go ahead and put the cover back onto the box for now. We're going to go and put that to the side and show you guys how to install the SIM inside the Nexus 5. Once we've got this over here, all we're going to do is just, we're going to go ahead and peel off the Nexus branding and you get greeted with the phone. This is pretty cool to keep. It just says Nexus 5 sort of in a hologram right there. You can just keep that there. Toss that to the side and there's a phone. Uh, there is the sticker on the back of the phone. It just contains your IMEI number. You can go ahead and remove that later. But for the meantime, let's go ahead and show you guys how to install the SIM. So if you notice, we're gonna go ahead and remove the nice, uh, the crafted SIM ejection tool out of the packaging, and there it is. It's just a standard run-of-the-mill SIM ejection tool. Once we got the SIM ejection tool ejected, we're just gonna go ahead and remove that out of its packaging. And we're gonna be greeted with this little tiny thing 
I don't know if you can see that right there, but that's what it looks like. And then what you're gonna do is you take the phone, put it on the side of the SIM card, and you're gonna realize that there is a tiny hole there. What you're gonna do is you're going to go ahead and insert the SIM ejection tool into that hole, and then just press it, and then the SIM tray should just pop right out. We're gonna go ahead and open that up and see it's empty, but it is an enclosed metal SIM tray for this phone. We're gonna go ahead and place the SIM now into the phone to show you guys um, how to do that. Now, once you got the SIM injected, you're gonna be all you're gonna do is just take your simple little SIM tray, align the little angle up with the SIM card, insert it there. Then you're gonna go ahead and take your phone with the SIM ejection tool, and you're gonna go ahead and in place that in there, just like you did when you took it out. Then we're gonna go ahead and power on the phone and show you guys what it's capable of. So we're gonna go ahead and power on this phone just by simply holding down the power button, and then the beautiful phone should just simply vibrate and then turn on and spring to life. In the meantime, there's our 8 megapixel 6 layer camera, camera, smartphone cam, Nexus 5 branding. I really do love that. And you see the home screen is a pretty nice little Google branding. Now, the power on time is a little bit long due to the fact that this is the first time turning on this device in my hands. And if you take a closer look here, it does do a really nice job of demonstrating how creative Google is by giving you that nice, cool power on feature that you would see in other phones but in this phone it's going to turn on we're going to go ahead and set this down for a little while because it is going to take a little bit longer and then once that's there we're going to go in the meantime just unbox the case that i have purchased with this phone so there it is it's just the t-mobile flex protective cover it's just a pr protective cover it's like 12 bucks designed to fit the google nexus all you do is just pop the lid up out of here remove this ready to go and remove the Nexus 5 fake packaging and you have the case unboxed in which the Nexus 5 should beautifully just sit right into when using this device. It's a great little tiny case you can use with the Nexus. Not slippy, it doesn't slip out of your hands easily at all. And there it is uh, for our Nexus 5. We're gonna go ahead and choose English, United States. And then Wi-Fi, we're gonna go ahead and log in with our Wi-Fi. And we're gonna go and type in our password so we got that set up. Once we got that set up, it's gonna ask us if we got Google. Yes, of course we do. So we're gonna go ahead and click on yes, and we're gonna be asked to log into our Google account, which we will do now. Once we have done that, all you do is just press the arrow. It's gonna ask you by signing in, you are agreeing to the Google Terms and Services, blah, blah, blah. It's gonna tell you to sign in just like you would when you're activating any Android phone. If you guys may have already noticed, this is uh, ha this already does have a uh, almost 75% battery on it, so it is pretty much full. However, once we got that set up, we are gonna to wanna to charge it. It's gonna tell us to please back up, make sure you back up your phone and your location. Uh, we can set that on or off. And we can go ahead and press the play button. It's going to ask us if we want to set up a credit card. We're going to choose not now because we're not going to probably purchase any applications on this phone for a while. Mainly downloading some free games and benchmarking test apps. Once we have that, it's going to ask us this phone belongs to Alex Sebastian. Click on next. It's going to ask us just a second. It's going to tell us Google now. Yes. Get Google now. Yes, I'm in. Then it's gonna go update and welcome, make yourself at home. Our phone's right over here. Hangouts does SMS, I know all of that. Our phone is activating and it is ready. So we can go and say, okay, Google. And it's gonna tell us about some more information about Google now. We're gonna go and go home now. And we're gonna say, okay, Google, how tall is the Empire State Building? It's a bit soft. We're gonna go ahead and try that again. We're gonna ask, how tall is the World Trade Center? Okay, Google, how tall is the World Trade Center? Didn't catch that. So that's, that's what they say when you can't catch the thing. Okay, Google, how, how tall is the World Trade Center? Hmm, well, it's because probably because we have poor signal right now. It is trying to activate still. We still have one bar, but you still got to connect to Wi-Fi after this. So that's pretty much the unboxing of the Nexus 5. I will do review on but within a week, but uh, without that, that's it for today, guys. If you guys enjoyed that video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up for more videos just like this. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you guys already have not done that to stay tuned to latest and greatest tech here on HD Alex Films. Until next time, see you guys in the next video. Peace.